Right now, some <laughs> in the Dayton region brace for an invasion, not by aliens, but by this fish. Yep. Seven feet long, 100 pounds, and it flies. Not this particular no. one, but you get the it's idea. Like Please meet our new co-anchor, the Asian <laughs> carp. This is one big eater, folks, and breeder. Females can lay one million eggs at a time. Jordan Burge reveals the threat we're seeing right now, its cost, and a unique solution to manage this river monster. <laughs> It sounds like a fish story. And they were just jumping into the boat, literally jumping into the live well. The only thing missing, the line, they were this big. But this story is no tall tale. It's real, it's incredible. And if Asian carp invade, Ohio boaters won't be the only ones who take a hit. Any invasive species that, that gets into a system has a potential to alter that, that system in a negative manner. Today, this crew of Ohio, Michigan, and federal experts are on the hunt for Asian carp here in the Sandusky River at the head of Lake Erie. Shock waves herd the fish into nets. The goal is to discover proof of Asian carp. Today, thankfully, there's none. But that only deepens the mystery surrounding the fish. Previous lake samples showed the carp's environmental DNA. So the question remains, is Lake Erie being infested? If Asian carp are present, they're present in low numbers. Why worry? What these Asian carp do is, is outcompete, or they can outcompete our native fish for that food. So they can potentially reduce the numbers of our sport fish that are, that are out there. That could be very costly. Carp could crowd out fish like walleye and take a big bite out of the lake's $800 million sport fishing industry. Tourists can forget going to places like Memory Marina. Pete Zeeler's car is like a billboard for fishing. To him, work is for people who don't know how to fish. It's just peaceful. Nothing like here in the water run, and if I can get a fish, that will make it all better. Pete from Bellbrook is co-founder of the National Association of Professional River Anglers, and he's heard his share of fish stories through the years. Oh, I've told a few. But when it comes to Asian carp, Pete would rather catch anything else. And you hear about it, you hear the tales, and thankfully they're not here. Sure. More like not here yet. They have been spotted in the Ohio River near the mouth of the Little Miami near Cincinnati. They already pose such a threat to the Great Lakes region that Ohio has joined Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Pennsylvania to find a way to contain them. There's even an Asian carp czar picked by President Obama. Sadly, it's just a matter of time. Yes, some say Asian carp can't breed in our fast-flowing rivers, plus they'd have to swim through dozens of dams. Still, Pete wonders about the invasion, and he thinks it'll take more than bumper sticker wisdom to solve the problem. What's going to happen is they're going to want to throw a lot of money at the problem, and it's going to cause recreational fishermen like me, they're going to jump the prices of uh, your fishing license, uh, which is going to filter down to buying uh, lures, uh, buying worms. There are many schools of thought out there about how to combat the carp. Do we build an electric barrier costing millions to keep them at bay? How about poison? Well, I found a writer who has another idea. It's a big problem. It needs an eradication. Jackson Landers is the author of Eating Aliens. He's all for eliminating the carp. After all, Landers has seen them jump right into the boat. And in his mind, one way to beat them is to eat them. It's a total myth that this fish is an inedible. Landers thinks if you cut and cook them right, Asian carp are pretty tasty. So maybe one day they will be on a menu at a restaurant near you. But for now, remains to be seen how this fish story will end. So the dams here along the Great Miami River, another one of the things that may help keep the Asian carp out of our area. But if they do get up here, as I mentioned in the story, 
we could just use them as food. And while I may be here at the Great Miami River, Mark and Katie, I left you guys a mm. present before I came over here. Oh. Some yeah. Asian carp sliders there that we want you to try. Now those are courtesy of Dirk's Fish and Gourmet Shop in Chicago with a little bit of jalapeno chutney for you there for some flavor. <laughs> so what do you think? Jordan, are, th are these gluten free is my question. <laughs> welcome to the food, welcome <laughs> to the food network. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, here we go. I love sushi. You're going to try them? I like sushi, so. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's actually quite good. It's not bad? It's pretty good. Okay, there yeah. you go. So, see? Can I see we a wine list? Can have... I see a wine list? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're working on I'm working on that. We're going to have dinner. I, I don't know what pairs with Asian carp well, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking white wine. <laughs> some kind of a white. It's pretty good. All right, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. And, Thanks, uh, guys. Yeah. Hey, one more note on this. It actually is pretty good. Uh, Illinois state officials are trying to make the best of the carp invasion. The Illinois River is already overrun, so they plan to catch and convert these fish into food for food banks. They've already harvested 10 to 20,000 pounds per day and are building a new fishery in Grafton, not far from Springfield, to ramp up production. If you want to read all about the Asian carp and, yes, even get some recipes, hit our website at WDTN.com.